Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how you can create an e-commerce website on GoDaddy Website Builder in 2024. So today we're going to learn how to create an e-commerce website using of course GoDaddy Website Builder. Whether you're selling some handmade crafts, digital products, or even anything in between, GoDaddy makes it easy to set up for your online store. So in this tutorial, we will show you or guide you through the steps of how to process that so make sure to stick by and let's get started before we start with this video make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience first you'll need to go and open a browser here i'm using brave for you you can use whatever you want and of course you'll need to sign up for your godaddy website so go here to this url section just type simply godaddy.com hit the enter button if you're still the first time you'll be, be taken to the same page but instead of your uh, info here as you can see you'll find a sign in option click on it and if you don't have an account click on create an account once you do so you'll find yourself here of course you can use google facebook or apple i guess if you don't want to get through all the boring steps of creation or even logging into your account you'll be able to do to create an account with one of those options so here as an example we would like as we said to create an e-commerce account for uh, with the godaddy websites builder so of course if you go here to websites and if you go here to websites builder as you can see I'll just go and click on that. I'll be taken here. So let's AI help you create your free website in minutes. So I'll just do no credit card required. I'll just go and click on start for free. As simple as that. Once I do so, as you can see, pick up where you left or something new. Of course, for me, uh, I'll not go with those sites that you already created. I'll start with a new site because we want an e-commerce website. So as you can see, first, what is your main goal? We'll use this to suggest features for this project. So sell goods and services. Let's customers appointments, start the basic websites, uh, share info about my business, promote myself. For e-commerce, it's going to be sell goods and services. So I'll just go do that and then click on continue. How do you want to sell? On my website, in person, or online marketplace like Etsy or Amazon, or on social media. For me, I'll just do it on my, on my website because I want to create an e-commerce one. Then click on continue. And about how much do you make in sales per year? Knowing your currently revenue range help us recommend the right products and features for you. For me, I'll just do, I'm just uh, getting started for you can answer, or if you don't want, you can simply choose, I prefer not to share. And then click on continue. What kind of business business do you have? So, or the category that you have. Simply, you'll base a, basically type your things in here. For me, I'll just do and do gaming as an example, then click on continue. Now, what should we call your business? This will be your name of your project. And if you change your mind, you'll be all, uh, always be able to delete it for me. I'll just type as an example, Omex Gaming then click on continue how should be people visit your uh, site contact you we'll add this information to the contact area of your website you can add a business uh, uh, if you have your business of course in a physical address you can simply add that if you don't have it you don't have to add that so you'll have to start by the phone number and your email address of course make sure to not use your personal email address or phone number Make sure to use like uh, business ones. Like uh, an example, let me just go here and choose uh, one, uh, like a business number that I have. So, an example, I'll just go here. It starts, of course, with that. So, let me just do that. Then uh, it's seven, I guess, 13, 73, 55, and 0, 05. Or I'll just enter another one as an example. Because I guess this I've used this on one one of one of my websites before, so I'll just use the other one. So 7, 13, 80, 86, then 60. Then here I'll just go and click on continue. Once I do so, as you can see, they are building my websites are just extra. Then suggesting, of course, some custom contents, etc. So all I need to do, nothing. I'll have to wait. The AI will basically do kind of everything for me, as you can see. So here, what sections would you like to add on your website? This is a list of sections commonly seen on gaming site. So do you want to see or to add an about? As you can see, what's about is something like that. If you want to add it, check it. If you don't, you can check us out or leave uh, the check empty. A video, as example, click on it here to see, like a gaming video or something like that. If you want to add it, you'll be able to. If you don't, just remove the check. Contact us if you want people to contact you, as you can see. And social uh, media or social links, if you want to add it, subscribe. If you want to add it, live stream, as an example. Content also, if you want to add it. Calm down timer as an example for something. And then the menu and price list. So add whatever suits you. If you like it, check it. If you don't, no, check it. Don't check it. Then click on continue to my site. 
if you check anything, you will find it added to your uh, site. So as you can see, welcome to Omex Gaming. This tour will get familiar with your most important areas of your new website. It's all set up, but you can customize it. So you can take a tour or click on next if you don't want to take a tour. So here they'll basically tell you how to personalize your website however you want to suit until suits you in your needs. Example, so color and design. And uh, as an example here, other than that, here you'll find sections uh, if you want to add some sections. And here you'll find pages if you want to add some pages. And here you'll be able to publish your site if you're good with it. Click on done. As you can see, that's going to be my site. It does not look like an e-commerce site, to be honest. But of course, you'll be able to go here and click on add page. As an example, click on new page. And simply, you can, you can simply start adding your products here, as an example, or uh, through the page that you want to add. So as an example, upgrade to add pages on your site. So for me, I'll not be able to add some pages here. But of course, you can simply go in here to shortcuts and store and add products right away. And here, as an example, if you want to sell online, so as an example, how to wait for this until it's load. And I'll try to make it as an example, an e-commerce website. For, of course, for me, I'm not like a design of guy or something like that. So I'll just add random things for you, make sure to hire a professional or I don't know if you're good at it, it's going to be good. So an example, here I'll just go and add an image of the product that you want to sell on my e-commerce website. An example, I'll just go here and click on add image, upload something from, from my PC. I'll just choose a random picture that I have here on my PC, of course. So once I add it, let me just wait. As you can see, it's uploading right now. Once it's uploaded, I'll just click, go and click on insert. It's a video slash digital product name. I'll just name it test. The price, I'll just make $10 uh, as an example. And here, of course, this is not mandatory to fill. What sales price is simply, as you can see, it display on your storefront with the original price crossed out. So product category as an example, I'll basically just give it a test name or something like that. You can uh, do whatever you want. Of course, you don't have to add this if you don't want to. And also tax category. Visible in my store, yes or no? Of course, I'll do yes. And for description, if you don't know how to write a description, just suggest a description as an example. And they also suggest one for you. So just click on that. And as you can see, they also suggest one for you. So let me just wait for them until they create one. So as an example, I'll just go and click on insert. If I like it, if I don't, I can change some stuff on it. Once I'm done, I'll click on save. And one of the, one of the fields should be fixed. Maybe like, I don't know where exactly. So wait, let me look again. So product name is filled, price is filled, and this is filled. The loadable content. So I'll just go here, click on browse files. I'll add this and I'll give it name test. And search engines, I don't think that is necessary. Then I'll click on save. And yeah, it seems like all good to go now. So yeah, it's all good to go, as you can see. You can count that as an as example as an e-commerce website. Here's it. This is your website. Now you'll be able to publish it. Click on publish and it will be published on a domain that they'll give you. If you want to customize your own domain, you'll be able to just go and buy your own GoDaddy and you'll be able to uh, transfer it to that domain. So preview your site before publishing. Publish it. Uh, as you can see, this is the URL. You'll be able to view it whenever you want. So here is it. You'll be able to go to shop as an example. See the product that's in, click on it as an example, and go to checkout. So click on buy now and buy with whatever you want. So let me just wait for it. So they'll take me to checkout. Make sure to sell, uh, buy it, and you can even buy with PayPal. You'll be able to uh, customize that however you want. So that's going to be it for me today. Thank you for watching and goodbye.